welcome to itsrafik in this video we will create a database that database name will be school and inside the school database we will create a table which name will be school or oh sorry student and it will contain the information of students and this is i'm going to do in mobile for that we have to install termex application which already i have so the steps in our previous video there so that you can install termex and in, in termex you can install the mysql server now while i will log into the termex at first we have to start the server for that we have to write start then days first we have to start server for that we'll write start then days server then enter key it will show that uh, mysql server is not running then starting mysql server successfully started that means my server is now on now by default the text size of termex is too small if you want to make it little larger you can pinch the screen with two fingers this way you can make it bigger or smaller okay now the next step we have to open the mysql server for that we will write my sql then days sorry one space days u then root means i am logging to the server as a root my username is root okay enter so there you will see welcome screen maria db corporation then uh, here maria db means our mysql server is running under maria db now let me see what databases are available in my server for that we'll write so data basis then semicolon enter so here are my database abc information schema mysql performance schema sys and text now i'm going to create a database that name will be school for that we'll write create database then name of the database is school school after that semicolon and enter and query okay that means my database has been successfully created now we have to use the database for that we'll write use school and semicolon it came database changed means my current database is school database and you can see within bracket the name is changed to school before it was none now we have to create a table suppose my table have uh, these columns roll number name then then uh, roll number name date of birth and phone number so our command will be create table student then bracket first we'll write roll number r o l l data type will be integer and primary key comma the next column will be name data type is worker then size will give us 20 okay then we have gender data type will be character c h a r and within bracket will give the sizes one because we are collecting only m or f value after that we'll have phone number phone we will keep as character and we'll give the sizes 10 when why we are keeping phone number as character not integer i have already explained this in a previous video i will give you the link in comment section you can see from the comment then bracket close and semicolon now if my command does not have any error then we will see one message that query okay let me press enter key so query okay that means my table is created now we'll see the uh, 
structure of the table for it we will write d e s c then student then semicolon here this is my structure of my table now let me enter data into the table for that we will write insert into student insert one space into student values then break it here we will write the first roll number then within single or double inverted comma name suppose name is Aryan then gender let be gender as male within single inverted comma we will write M then comma now we will give the phone number phone number let it be this number and inverted comma is closed as our phone number is character that's why I am giving the uh, inverted comma otherwise for integer value we don't give inverted comma as you can see for one I am not giving any inverted comma now bracket will be closed and semicolon now we'll press enter key you can see here query okay one row affected but that means my record has been entered in the database let me see select then we'll write star star means I am selecting all the columns from student then semicolon you can see here I have just one record at present this is my information suppose I need only the phone uh, phone number and the name then we will write select name comma phone that means I am defining only the column name from then the table name that is student semicolon and enter you can see now we have just two columns so this way we can create table and inserted data into the table by using mysql uh, in our mobile phone without downloading any third party app and even without any ad with full features whatever we can do in computer but for that we need termux app this is actually a linux a linux operating system that we can install in our android os Android. okay in next video we are going to see how we can modify the table uh, i will give that video in next or tomorrow that's all for today thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye and to exit from the mysql server you can write just exit then you will exit it from the server uh, you will see a message bye and to exit from the termix app otherwise it will always be running in background you can again type exit then you can exit from the termix app as you can see here here is my home screen so yeah.